All other paintings are created by the artist to be seen together um, are painted on canvases of the same type. And examples of these are the four allegories of love in the collection of the National Gallery in London or the two allegories in, of navigation in the uh, Los Angeles a Museum of Art. It is possible that Veronese was interested in the effects that he could achieve by using different canvas supports, though it was often the patron who provided the canvas and the rest of the materials for the work. Now we're gonna look at the, at the ground layers. Um, both paintings have ground preparations that look very similar to the naked eye. Uh, these uh, ground preparations have a warm pink color. We can see them when we examine the paintings under the microscope in areas where the, the top paint layers are uh, very thin. As I said, both ground preparations look similar, but they have a very different composition. Uh, as I said, the ground layer is, is the first layer that is applied over the canvas support. It goes all over the canvas support. So we went with the Raman microscope and we analyzed the ground preparation in the cross sections and we found that the main component for the preparation in, in uh, wisdom and strength is the anhydrous calcium sulfate or anhydride. While the main component in uh, vitron vice is calcium sulfate dehydrate or gypsum. Uh, the formulas of the two compounds may look very similar to each other, but they are different. They have uh, different properties. Both anhydrite and gypsum were almost invariably used in the preparation of, this, of 16th century Venetian paintings, but the fact that the two are different is additional evidence that these two paintings were not created as a pair. As I said, these, these ground preparations have a warm pink color, Anhydrite and gypsum are white. So how was the pink color achieved? The pink color was achieved by uh, adding small amounts of red pigments. These red pigments can come in very, uh, are in the form of very small particles. You won't see them from there, but they are there. We analyzed these very small particles using uh, SEM EDS, and we found that these red particles contain iron and lead, indicating that Veronese used iron oxide and red lead to uh, achieve the pink color there. In, additional, uh, in addition to the two paintings having different canvas supports and different ground preparations, there's a very important difference between the two paintings. Wisdom and strength has an imprimatura. The term imprimatura stems from the Italian and literally means first paint layer. It's a layer that is applied all over the ground preparation is this layer that you see here, right over the ground in this cross section. It contains lead white and the red pigments, vermilion and red lead, it has a pink color. Uh, this imprimatura must have had the function to adjust the texture of the ground um, imposed by the rough tool with canvas and to smooth out the canvas joints. There's no imprimatura in virtual advice, and you can see, uh, I have as an example this cross section removed from here. The, the different passages are built right over the ground preparation. You have here the ground, and this sample was removed approximately from this location in uh, Venus's uh, blue drapery, and you see how the, the blue layers used for this passage are, are applied right over the ground preparation without an imprimatura. The imprimatura contains lead white, so as everybody knows, uh, red uh, lead is radiopaque. So we see evidence of its application in the X radiograph. This imprimatura must have had a very um, fluid consistency when applied, so uh, the details are more clear in the, in the details of the X radiograph. We have this detail from this upper right corner here, and we see splatter marks from the imprimatura here. Hope you can see them from the back. And in this um, detail of the X radiograph, taken from approximately this location, we see scrape marks. I don't know if you can see them from the back. They're not clear in the projection, but these scratches, there are scratches here that run all along. And these, are, these scratches are marks from the spatula used by the artist to apply uh, the imprimatura. What what made Veronese one of the most uh, celebrated Venetian artists was his superb skill in using an impressive range of colors, though his skies tend to suffer from his extensive use of the blue pigment smalt. Uh, Professor Ernst already um, mentioned smalt and showed some small samples. 
Smalt is made by grinding, was made by grinding cobalt doped glass, and it tends to discolor quickly, and together with the yellowing of the oil medium, it shifts from a blue to a gray hue. But fortunately, no smalt was detected in any of the freak allegories of skies are of bright blue, and, and let's see how, how the skies are built. For the uh, dark area in the sky here in Viltran Vice, we see that over the ground preparation, Veronese applied a layer that contains the pigment lead white and the blue pigment azurite. And over this layer, we have a dark layer, a darker blue layer that contains ultramarine blue and a little bit of lead white. By layering ultramarine blue over uh, a mixture of lead white and azurite, uh, Veronese was making an economical use of his pigments. The mixture of lead white and azurite provided a base for a more efficient application of ultramarine blue. Azurite was less costly, though more greenish. So he decided to make a base, a light blue base of a less expensive uh, pigment mixture for a more efficient application of the more costly, though more uh, brighter blue, uh, ultramarine blue. And we see a similar technique in wisdom and strength, we have a sample here removed also from the darker area of the sky. You have here the ground preparation. You already saw this sample. You have the imprimatura here. You have a layer here that contains azurite and lead white over which ultramarine blue was applied. And you won't see a clear boundary between the ultramarine blue and the azurite and lead white layer because the ultramarine blue paint was applied when the azurite and lead white mixture was still wet. On the other hand, the greenish area in the sky here was built with azurite on top. Azurite has a greenish hue. Veronese applied over the ground a layer that contains mainly lead white with the azurite on top with a little bit of lead white. So the fact that the, the reason why it looks so greenish is because it was uh, finished with azurite. Veronese's economical use of his pigments is reflected not only on this careful layering of ultramarine blue over azurite, but also on the use of what appears to be a cheaper grade of lead white for the under layers. Every time he uses lead white when building the skies in the under layers, lead white, that is the basic lead carbonate, is extended with the much cheaper dolomitic particles. And when lead white is used in the upper layers, as here, blue mixed with ultramarine, no dolomitic particles are detected, indicating that he must have used a purer grade of lead white. So the fact that we see a purer and for sure more expensive grade of lead white on the top and a cheaper grade on the under layers is indicating that this was a conscious choice. The Discoloration and lack of form in uh, Vice's blue drapery here is uh, due to the use of another blue pigment, indigo. Uh, and let's see how, how, how the passage is built. You already saw this cross section over the ground. Veronese started by applying a layer that contains azurite and lead white. He brushed indigo on top, and now these dark red particles, that, uh, not red, darker particles that you see here over which he applied ultramarine blue with a little bit of um, lead white. In some areas of this uh, drapery, like here, in the real painting, in the projection is not clear, but in the real painting they look brownish and discolored. In these um, areas, this ultramarine blue layer was, is, is very thin, and it did not protect the light-sensitive pigment indigo from degradation, so indigo has this color and has uh, contributed to, to the way uh, the passage looks today. Overall, the paint surface in, in, in virtual vice is in good condition. We, we were um, intrigued to see why vice's uh, orange gown has a, a chalky, broken appearance. 